Hey, thanks for sticking around for part two. I want to take an opportunity to talk about some expectations with returning to children during your homecoming and reintegration phases. Uh, and then, as you can see, we're going to talk a little bit about some tips. And I'm even going to talk to you about how something like a thermostat and a thermometer play a role in returning to our children. So in the last segment, I kind of stopped with talking about managing those expectations. Before we get there, what I want you to do is to take a moment, still keep thinking about all those kiddos, right, that are back home. Maybe it's your young ones, an old one, maybe you've got a house full, whatever the case may be. And I want you to take a moment and just picture in your mind, what is it going to be like when they see you? Think about that moment. Are they running to you to greet you and jumping into your arms? Are they super excited? Are they laughing and screaming with joy? What does that moment look like? It's probably a Hollywood motion picture in your mind. And so hopefully it can be that way, right? But we also have to um, again, thinking about what are those expectations going to be like following that moment of pure joy. Maybe it's the son or daughter who is young and hides behind the other caregiver's legs, right? Whatever it may be, know that it's going to be okay, right? You're going to be able to rebuild those relationships and reconnect with them because we're gonna be able to give you some tips and some resources. So um, again, managing those expectations is important. We talked um, in the last segment about going slow, but also making sure that you are uh, maintaining those routines, right? So that's also a big tip for reintegration is not making too many changes too quickly, right? Letting them know what those expectations are as well. So let's say, that you want to implement some new rules, right? Both caregivers have sat down, talked about it, and thinks that maybe these are some new guidelines that you could put in play. Let the kiddos know, right? Kiddos aren't mind readers either. I really wish they were. Um, I wish we were, but they're not. So we have to let them know what's being expected of them. If we expect them to get up and make their bed every morning, we need to let them know that before we get uh, frustrated or angry with them for not making their bed. And then, you know, if they didn't know, then we need to make sure they do, all right? Uh, some other things as well with the tips is knowing, again, that they're just as nervous and excited as you are, but validate those feelings. If they are scared, if they are hiding behind the other parent's legs, that's okay. Let them know that you realize, hey, it's all right to be scared. It's all right to be shy. Validate those. It's all right to be happy, right? Let them know. And even share with them some of the emotions that you are feeling. Maybe you're just as scared as they are. Maybe you're just as excited as they are. But let them know, okay? Encourage those. Celebrate the growth as well. You know, I mentioned maybe your kiddo has learned how to tie their shoe, right, while they're gone. Celebrate that. Not just maybe a missed birthday or a missed holiday, right? But celebrate the little things, right? Celebrate learning how to tie a shoe. Celebrate learning how to do division or reading their first chapter book whatever that milestone may be. Celebrate turning 16, right? How you celebrate it is gonna be up to you. Uh, it doesn't always have to be in the form of a gift, you know, maybe the child who learned how to tie their shoes gets to pick out a really cool pair of shoelaces. Or, you know, the child that learns how to, um, or finishes their first chapter book, right? Maybe celebrate that somehow. 
maybe take them online to MWR's digital library and let them pick out the next book to download and read. Have them read to you, right? That's one of the coolest things. And, you know, making sure that very similar to spending time with our spouse, our significant other, we want to make sure we're spending quality time with our kiddos too. So again, not just sitting down on the couch with them as they're playing video games and expecting that to be quality, but having a conversation. You know, you have to meet them where they're most comfortable. And if they're most comfortable playing video games, pick up the controller. Have them teach you how to play, right? If the new thing right now is, I'm sorry, mom and dad, you may just have to do this, TikTok. You may find yourself making a TikTok video with your kiddos, right? Doing things that they are interested in and excited about is going to be one of the best ways to rebuild some of that connections, uh, some of those connections that um, maybe have just grown a little thin, right, while you guys have been separated. Some other things to consider, right, with that, um, you know, dads, I hate to say it, but get ready. Especially if you've got little princesses in the house, you might find yourselves sitting at a tea party table or two, right? Maybe they're doing your hair or your makeup or painting your nails, right? Um, but these are some things that they're going to be super excited about and some ways that we can help them connect, right? Share their excitement and their love, uh, especially for those younger ones, because this is going to be the way that they show how happy they are and excited they are. It may also be that time to sneak in a question or two. Hey, what did you miss the most, right? What are you most afraid of now that I'm home? Um, for some of the ones to usually elementary school age kids take on a lot of responsibilities. They learn those responsibilities really quickly through chores and things of that nature. Maybe they appreciate some of that. They feel like it's given them a sense of um, maturity, right? Independence. So talk with them about that. If that's something they want to keep, then absolutely let them have that opportunity to still take out the trash or make that sandwich for lunch or whatever the case may be. So the big thing is making sure that we are taking it slowly, right? Not jumping in with both feet, but maybe a toe, then a couple toes, then maybe the foot, and eventually making it in. So one of the other things that I mentioned too uh, at the beginning is, you know, how this thermostat and this thermometer come into play when it comes to reintegrating with our kiddos. I want you guys to remember that it's important to be patient with yourself, right? We need to do a daily check-in. Maybe it's an hourly check-in. How are we feeling, right? Are we with that thermometer, right? Are we slowly rising and rising because it's our little kiddo who is talking now and just wants to talk and it's mommy, 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 daddy, daddy, daddy. Do you find yourself that temperature rising? that fuse getting shorter and shorter, that last nerve about to be plucked. Hmm. If this is you and that thermometer is rising, think about how the thermostat works, right? This helps us to regulate. And in order to regulate, we know that sometimes we need to take a break. We need to step away from the moment. Once you're back, you know, into a normal routine, you get home after a long, stressful day, take a minute. But if you know that Johnny or Sally is going to meet you at the door going, Daddy, 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 Mommy, 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 set that expectation. Say, hey, you know what? In order for me to step away from the day, Mommy, Daddy needs just a couple minutes to himself or to herself, and then make yourself available. Timers are great. If you have a kitchen timer, if you have one of the sand turners, 
um, said that for the young ones who may not have that concept of time, but it's okay. And I want you to remember that as you go through this and you are patient with yourself because we got to take care of us first. If we are empty, we're not going to be able to pass on anything to our little ones and they're the ones that want all of it. So again, if you find yourself needing that moment to recalibrate, to set that steady course, right, with the, th the thermostat, take a moment, step back. If it's something where maybe you need some additional resources, please reach out to us at Fleet and Family. Uh, not just within Fleet and Family, but a lot of resources here in San Diego are standing by, ready to assist, and we wanna be there. We wanna make sure that this is an exciting time. It's a new time. So reach out, connect with us, and most important, enjoy the time with your kiddos. Thanks, guys.